Welcome to Mega Industrial Power, where agricultural machines are not just massive, but astonishingly intelligent. Today, you'll witness a very special assistant, a mower with the ability to think. Thanks to its ISOBUS connection, it controls cutting length, speed, and height with the precision of a fighter jet pilot. This is no longer traditional farming. This is industrial grade precision control, and it starts right now. This isn't just vine pruning. It's a revolution in vineyard care. A machine capable of analyzing, calculating, and adjusting every single cut like a surgeon, but faster, more precise, and never getting tired. Cut to almond and apple orchards, where fruit doesn't fall by chance, but is harvested with purpose. The machine moves automatically through the rows, scanning with sensors, identifying ripe fruit, and collecting them as if performing a flawless dance. No breaks, no shift changes. For 48 continuous hours, the system operates with astonishing stability. The entire process, from grabbing arms, hydraulic systems, to transport conveyors, works in perfect sync, like a heavy-duty production line in a car assembly plant. Every movement has rhythm, logic, and power, as if conducted by a maestro. And in this case, the name is Fumako. This is the future of agriculture, where mechanization doesn't just replace humans, it surpasses them. The moment this giant machine rolls into the field, the hazelnuts seem to know what's coming. And if they could run, they would. This is no ordinary harvester. It's a mechanical monster from A.M. Rousset, combining the power of three machines in one, shaking, collecting, sorting, and loading, be on all all so wall. In the aw in a single pass. With a chassis as solid as a tank and an automated processing system like a mobile factory, it doesn't just harvest. It also cleans, dehusks, and sorts everything right on the spot. Rugged terrain, dust storms, densely planted trees. No need to stop. It pushes forward with precision and confidence. And just when you think it couldn't get better, Afron enters with a bold idea. Double the productivity. Its dual extendable arms, like mechanical wings, stretch out to both sides and work simultaneously, harvesting two rows at once, turning one pass into two harvests. The result? Faster, stronger, more efficient. A true symbol of advanced, mechanized farming. And above all, not a single hazelnut escapes this beast's grip. Just one pass, and the hedgerow turns into a perfectly straight cut, like drawn by a ruler. This isn't trimming. This is precision mechanical sculpting. The rotating blade system slices cleanly down to the inch, creating symmetrical edges so perfect that from above, you'd think it was a golf course, not a farm. No need to turn around, no unnecessary maneuvers. Everything is pre-programmed, calculated, and executed like a laser cutter operating in the heart of nature. As for cotton in Brazil, forget the image of grueling manual labor. Imagine a tank officially certified for farming. A massive four-wheeled beast marches across the field like it's on parade. But instead of carrying weapons, it's armed with giant vacuum tubes that suck up every fluffy white cotton ball like clouds. Behind it are neatly cleaned rows of cotton plants, stripped bare, tidy uniform, as if combed by an enormous brush. Every square meter it covers is a square meter completed. Nothing missed, nothing damaged, no need to go back. This isn't just harvesting. This is technological dominance over land, crops, and time. A perfect example of what people call agriculture on an industrial scale. Spinach, 
a crop so delicate that even the slightest bump can tear its leaves. Yet under the care of this machine, it's treated like fine crystal, precise, gentle, and immaculately clean. No exposed blades, no workers bending over to pick each bundle, just a single joystick in the operator's hand, and everything unfolds like a pre-programmed mechanical performance. The cutting system glides across the leaves without pushing or disturbing the soil, then sweeps them neatly into collection trays with the precision of a robot in a high-end food processing line. Each bunch is stacked as if it's heading straight to the supermarket shelf, clean, uniform, undamaged, ready for packaging and export right from the field. This isn't just a machine, it's a smart assistant, an industrial artisan program to understand. Not everything powerful has to be brute. Sometimes, real strength lies in finesse. Forget plastic chemical containers and the strong smell of herbicides. In the U.S., modern farmers no longer use weed killers. They use fire. That's right, fire. But it's precise, controlled, and as powerful as high-tech weaponry. This machine operates like an industrial flamethrower, blasting heat up to 2 million BTUs, enough to break down the cellular structure of weeds in an instant without causing any harm to the main crops. Everything is controlled by a thermal sensor system and crop row positioning technology. No randomness, no risk, just maximum efficiency and near military precision. The result? No chemical residues in the soil, no harm to beneficial microorganisms, no contamination of water sources. This is clean burn weed control. No toxic smoke, no side effects, and weeds eliminated down to the root. This is no longer just agriculture. It's a technological war against weeds using thermal combustion. And this time, the winner doesn't wield a sickle. They simply activate the system. Once a hero of the skies, now a silent guardian of drought-stricken fields. This legendary aircraft, once flying deep into jungles to rescue the wounded, now returns to the sky, not carrying medicine, but delivering life to every young plant below. Taking off from makeshift airstrips, it doesn't need a large airport or control tower. Just one mission, to irrigate each crop row with surgical precision. No overspraying, no waste, just the right amount of moisture, at the right time, in the right place. A single engine, yet powerful. Two propellers, yet agile like a bird's wings. Inside, a fully automated system controls water flow, pressure, and flight coordinates. Like a massive drone carrying the heart of a farmer and the brain of an aerospace engineer. From above, you'll see a gentle stream of water misting over the fields like morning dew calculated to soak the soil evenly without causing erosion. Irrigation has never been this graceful. Pulling carrots by hand? That's a thing of the past. Today, with just the push of a button, the Verugan machine kicks off an industrial performance that leaves every farmer amazed. Once the engine is warmed up, carrots are lifted from the ground with such precision, it's as if there were sensors identifying each root individually. No pulling by hand, no bending over. The machine gently lifts the roots, shakes off the soil, and lines the carrots up like soldiers in a parade. It all happens within seconds. So fast you won't even finish saying vitamin A before the tray is full. This isn't your typical harvester. It's a mobile automation line, built to run continuously, reliably, and without fatigue. With Verugan, every carrot is handled as if it were raw material in a factory, not just another crop in a field. Speed, carrots thrive in loose, well-drained soil. A Extra. new definition of crop carrots. harvesting in the age of high-tech agriculture. Blueberries, tiny, fragile, and easy to bruise. But with the Grasshopper Soft Vibration System, harvesting them becomes an art of precision. No harsh shaking, no rough treatment. 
just a gentle tremor like a whisper that releases only the right berries at the perfect moment. The machine's custom-designed soft vibration works at an ideal frequency, loosening fruit without breaking branches, disturbing leaves, or dislodging immature clusters. The berries fall into cooled, cushioned bins that prevent fermentation and preserve freshness from the moment they leave the stem. With a working width of about 1.2 meters and continuous operation, Grasshopper can harvest up to 2 hectares a day without missing a single berry. Sensors monitor ripeness, vibration strength, and ground slope, adjusting everything in real time without manual intervention. One operator, one machine, one perfectly clean field. It's the perfect solution for modern farms. Optimized labor, protected yields, and maximum quality. Grasshopper isn't just a shaker. It's the gentlest mechanical hand blueberries have ever. Don't call the Elhov twin just a rake. It's far more than that. A smart mechanical assistant that's precise, graceful, and more efficient than you'd expect. While traditional rakes leave loose uneven piles, Elhov Twin organizes every strand of forage into clean, straight rows. As precise as stitched lines, ready for baling or drying, its dual rotary rakes work in harmony, creating a soft but firm motion that prevents tangling, crushing, or moisture loss. With the ability to self-adjust speed and direction, Elhov Twin handles all types of terrain, from flat pastures to rolling hills, while maintaining robotic level precision. It doesn't just collect forage, it optimizes drying, thanks to its methodical row formation that ensures even sunlight and airflow. The result? Faster drying times, higher quality hay, and reduced labor. Elhov Twin doesn't replace you, it works for you with the kind of meticulous care and efficiency human hands can rarely match.